Allo, allo. So this is a reading for Nate, who's asking about two businesses that he's running. He'd like to get out of the... He'd like to let go of the older business in order to put all his efforts in the new one. But he's wondering if that's a wise move. The overall energy of the reading, the overall image, is that of a protective shell, which comes with both positives and negatives. On the positive side, we see him at the root of the question with the uncanny ability to protect his assets, protecting what he's built so far, while waiting patiently for the right time to fulfill his ambitions. And on the negative side, the protective shell he's built has been pushing away beneficial things, pushing away outside help. He's shown here with a stoic, go-it-alone attitude, which could either delay or stop the breakthrough he's looking for, leading to missed opportunities, not being able to recognize certain opportunities as they present themselves. It's sort of like he's trying to win at a game whose rules he doesn't yet fully understand. Fortunately, though, he's now entering a time when powerful insights are making their way to the surface. So it's important for him now to pay attention to his dreams, to pay attention to, to his intuition, to pay attention to the subconscious, to the imagination. This is a time when the imaginal world is coming up to the conscious mind with many crucial solutions to his questions. There's a great amount of wealth, a great amount of abundance that's just wanting to flow to him. But it's he himself that's obstructing it, mostly by obstructing his own self. When you're not tapped into your true self, it's hard to bring out your true talents, the talents that are looking to, to be expressed, which also makes it hard to be synchronized with the outside world, to be at the right place, at the right time, with the right people. With the Seven of Swords as the outcome, we see that what he's got going for him is his cunning. He's a think-outside-of-the-box kind of person. Like when I was mentioning earlier that some rules of the games he doesn't understand. So he's basically forced to think differently. Forced to circumvent some of the rules. On the one hand, there's a part of him that's really looking to come out. That part that wants to break out of the shell. The real self coming up to the surface. And on the other hand, there's the part where his tendency to insulate himself from others is actually, is actually serving him. That part where he's been forced to adapt, where he's had to think differently from others. Think outside of the rules, like I said. In order to get what he needs. Overall, this is a theme that's also playing itself out with the reversed moon and reversed sun. The moon and sun that, that in mythology and folklore are always seeking to come together as one. The moon at the center of the reading speaks of the past, the old. And the sun in the hidden part of the reading speaks of the present time the new. By themselves, both polarities are displayed negatively, so he's in the process of bringing them together, bringing the subconscious back to the conscious, bringing the past back together with the present, and perhaps also bringing the old business together with the newer one. What's for sure is that there's something of the old that needs to be 
integrated in the new. It doesn't necessarily or literally mean bringing the ventures together physically. But at least in some way, they need to merge at some levels. Even if it's just at the level of ideas. Which could give birth to a new entity. One that's better than its individual parts. In any case, the answers are coming up for him now, or very soon. Pushing their way up to the surface. And they'll come even more easily when he actively seeks them out. Okay, well, that's the gist of it for now. Until the next reading, have a good one.